Hello. Welcome to MakerSquare's first recorded lesson. My name is Gilbert, and in this lesson, I will teach you how JavaScript prototypes work. Before we get into that, let's review constructor functions. So let's assume that you wanted to create a constructor function for a car. And every car is going to have its own color and its own sound. So naturally, if you want every car to have this color and sound, you would assign it to this, which is the new object being created by the constructor function. And the same goes for sound. Lastly, we want each car to have a honk function. And this function will alert a sound. And that sound is going to come from the object sound. The reason we want that to happen is because every car will have its own sound. So we want them all to sound different. So that's where this dot sound comes into play. Because as you know by now, the object calling the function will be what the value this points to. And that is our constructor function. To create a new car, we use this new constructor function with the keyword new. And then we have to pass it two things pass it a color and a sound. So we can expect those to be strings. So this right here will create a new object and then call this constructor function with the value of this pointing to that new object. So let's see what that looks like in our diagram. First, I'm going to move this to the side. And now let's see what's going on. So 
So the first thing that happens is we have an assignment. Now in any assignment, you always do the right side of the equal sign before the left. So in the right side, we have a function. Let's create that new function. We represent functions by ovals. And then put the function definition right above it. So that is the entire right side. This oval represents this entire function. So the entire code. Notice that we have not run, we have not done any of the code inside the function. We have simply set it up. So that's the right side of the equal sign. The left side of our car is simple. We write it out and make it point to the right side. Oops. Next up, we have another assignment. Just like any assignment, we do the right side before we do the left. So the right side, we have the keyword new. Now the first thing that the keyword new does is that it creates an object. Next, it calls the constructor function. And when it calls it, the keyword this inside that function will all refer to this new object that just got created. Now, we want to call this function, but before we call any function, we have to resolve these arguments first because these arguments need to exist before this function can receive them. So let's create these two. In our diagram, you can write them anywhere because they're not particularly assigned to a variable yet. They're just being created. Oops, don't want a comma there. So these two strings just exist in space. Now that these arguments are resolved, this function can now receive them. So whenever we have parentheses, we are calling a function, which means we enter a new dream space. So let's create that new dream space. In technical terms, this is called a new scope. So now that we have our new dream space, what we want to do is first set up our parameters. So we have two parameters, so we need to set those up by creating variables and pointing them to whatever was passed in. 
So naturally, black is going to go straight into color, and leap is going to go straight into sound. So our color is going to point to black. And then we also have var sound pointing to meep. So that sets up our parameters. Next, we can start running the function. So first line is an assignment. As with any assignment, we do the right side before the left. So the right side is color. So in order to find out what the right side is, we follow that variable color. We find it first, follow the arrow, and now we know that black, the string black, is the right side of the equal sign. Next, this.color. Now the keyword this, as mentioned before, will point to this new object being created. The reason for that is because the keyword new is being used. Or in other words, we are using the keyword new to call this constructor function. So this dot color. This refers to this object. And then dot color means to assign the property color to the right side of the equal sign. We don't have a property color, so we will create it. And then this will point to the right side, which we have determined is the string. Sound is the same concept. Lastly, we have a third assignment. The right side is a function, so let's create a function. That represents this function right here. That is the right side. The left side is this dot hunk. So that is the same concept as the other ones. We will make that point to our function. So now that we're done with that, This function is going to return the new object being created. So this object right here will become this right side of the equal sign. The left side is Varahonda. So we write that out, make that point to the right side. At this point, the dream space is going to go away. So anything not being pointed to will disappear. And also, any of these local variables, all of these local variables will disappear. So that's going to go away. And so is var sound.
and the space itself will all disappear. Now notice how this object has not disappeared because this variable Honda is still pointing to it. So these arrows are kind of like life links. As long as something points to it, this will never disappear. So this is what it looks like whenever we create a new car. If we were to create another car, then it will look very similar. Let's see what that looks like. So I'm not going to go through everything again, but I will show you the final result. So the point of this is that every object has its own function. Toyota has its own function here, and Honda has its own function here. In the next video, you will see how to create these objects without the need to give each object its own duplicate function. You will use prototypes so that there is only one function in memory and all of the other objects will use that one function.